Joe Perry won the first ever Bet Victor Championship League snooker 12 years ago and got Group 29 underway in this year's event with a 3 0 win against Stephen Hallworth. Joe Perry, not at his best, but nevertheless gets the desired result. You can't do any better than when your first match 3 0. Elliot Slesser was next to the table and ran out a 3 0 winner over Kasper Filipiak. He stayed at the table to face Stephen Hallworth, run. and this time was on the wrong end of the result. So, a great break, just one more ball needed. Just a word of caution here, he missed a red very similar to this against Joe Perry. Caught it too thick. The danger is, that's on his mind and he overcompensates. No, sir, right into the heart of the pocket. No overcompensation there. Really good effort, Dave. Yeah, and he's checking the scores. He knew what the scores were, but he's checking them once again. He knows he's 26 in front. One four-point snooker to tie, but if the brown goes in, there's surely no way back. Yeah, he'll feel really good. He 68. had one good chance to start the break. He kept the break going well. Elliot Slesser was going well early on in the frame himself, but... These uh, our points drop for him because he won his first match, but this is a big blow for him. Perry's next match was against Filipiak, and the gentleman maintained his unblemished record with a second 3 0 success. And they've up to and including the black. 20. A little bit further on the blue, but he's okay. He can chip this blue in, a little bit of right hand side, straighten the cue ball up for the pink into the left corner, 25. perfect, that's a wonderful clearance and it all came from that first red, knocked the other red away from the side cushion, nicely on the pink, and Joe Perry certainly showing his class here. Perry only needed one frame in the final match of the group against Elliot Slesser, and he wasted no time in getting it, taking advantage of a Slesser loss of concentration caused by his ringing phone. Oh, the snooker. Oh, yeah. I've got to warn you for this one. Oh, his phone's going off. <laughs> this is alarm. This should really go underneath the snooker table to make sure to switch off. I've got... But we... Yeah, I'm sorry, I've got to give you an official warning here. If I have to warn you a second time in this match, you're going to lose a frame. Well... Normally, if a mobile phone goes off, it's in the audience. It's not normally the player. And Marcel Eckhart, the referee, saying under the rules, he has to warn him that if it happens again, he loses a frame. So turn it off, Elliot. Would you like to bring it outside, if you're not sure? Turn it off or put yeah, it somewhere else. Outside if you don't want. Yep, yeah, yeah, thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Just not where to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is bizarre. I mean, he shouldn't have his phone out there in the first place, to be honest. Surely he must know how to turn the phone off. So Elliot Slesser was in, then his mobile phone went off. It seemed to be set to alarm mode. He was warned that if it went off again, he would be Dr. Frame. And uh, when he came out to the table, he was a bit befuddled, to say the least. Immediately missed, and it set Perry up for this chance, and he's taken it really well to ensure his qualification. Misses that, but 112 will do nicely. So Joe Perry, whatever else happens in this match, will be coming back for the next phase of the Championship League. On table two, Group 20 proved a much closer affair. Jordan Brown opened proceedings with a 3-0 win over Stuart Carrington before Yang Bing Tao defeated Michael White, also 3-0. The world number 12 then drew 2 all with Jordan Brown before White made amends for his earlier defeat with a 3-0 success over Carrington. 117. 123. 130 frame in the match, Michael White.
Bing Tao then rescued a point against Carrington and crucially made a 98 break in the final frame. That meant the group would go down to its final match, Brown against White. The winner would advance while a draw would favour Yan unless Brown could better the Chinese player's 98 break. Yeah, Bing Tao. 98 in the frame. Thank you. The high break, though, didn't come into things as Jordan Brown eventually beat Michael White 3 1 to take top spot in the group. Now he's gone up and down. Oh, I wouldn't have played it this way because maybe a chance for Michael White to bring that black into play now. That was a mistake from Jordan Brown. Should have kept the pink well away from the black. Could be in trouble here. given himself a chance but now all of a sudden there's more pressure on this because the black got to stay so still on this shot Michael White is not going to refuse this pink oh, Jordan Brown must be going through absolute agony But he's not going to miss this pink. So Jordan Brown, deep breaths, just roll it in and you're the winner of the group. So what a dramatic Brown, finish to this group. Jordan but Jordan Brown has done it. He beats Michael White 3-1. He's shaking his head, but he's delighted because he will be coming back for the next stage of the Championship League. He is our group winner. Confirmation of the final Group 20 table then, Jordan Brown advancing with seven points, Yang Bingtao came second with five and Michael White took third with one win. Table 1 ended with three players on six points, Joe Perry advancing by frame difference, Slesser taking second and Stephen Hallworth having to settle for third.